I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with another reminder about changes involving city meetings. Beginning Monday, all City Council and Planning and Zoning Commission meetings will be at the Davis Library. The Senator Florence Shapiro Council Chamber is undergoing renovations. If you plan on speaking at either meeting, you must sign up via the online form by 4 p.m. on the meeting day. Registration opens at 5 p.m. on the Wednesday before the City Council meeting and on the Friday before the Planning and Zoning meeting. On-site registration is not available. Go to Plano.gov agendas for the link to sign up and for the meeting agenda. Here's an update on some projects that started or will soon be underway on Plano Parkway. The North Texas Municipal Water District will start work on replacing a water line in June from just west of Jupiter Road to K Avenue. Sidewalk improvements will start in April along Plano Parkway from Independence Parkway to Alma Drive. An asphalt overlay is expected to start in mid to late April from the east city limits to Jupiter Road. Work to repair concrete pavement started in July of last year and should be wrapping up in April. The work was done from the east city limit to US 75. Two Plano Parkway intersections will also undergo improvements. Work at Ohio Drive will begin in October with completion in December of 2025. And work at 14th Street will begin in November with estimated completion by September of 2025. Both intersections will include safety features to reduce the number of traffic accidents and relieve congestion during peak traffic times in the morning and afternoon. As you know, Plano is on the path of totality for the total solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th. You can watch the eclipse from your neighborhood or come out to one of two city viewing locations, Windhaven Meadows Park or the Balloon Field at Oak Point Park and Nature Preserve. For more info, Go to visitplano.com. How would you like to go on a culinary journey to Plano's wide array of restaurants? Visit Plano is bringing back the Taste of Plano Foodie Pass. The free mobile-friendly program features a passport showcasing nearly 85 eateries. Many restaurants offer pass holders special discounts and other perks with their purchases. Anyone with a mobile phone can join the fun from now through Monday, September 30th. All you have to do is go to visitplano.com slash taste of Plano. Our pet of the week is Mary. Mary is a very sweet and patient three-year-old brindle pit bull. Our friends at the Plano Animal Shelter describe her as friendly, sweet, and patient. She walks well on a leash and appears to be crate trained. She knows sit, loves squeaky toys, and loves attention. She's also the longest current resident at the shelter. To see all the pets up for adoption at the shelter, go to share.plano.gov slash pets for adoption. We held our second annual Texas Forever Fest last weekend. Here's a sampling of the sights and sounds. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, plano.gov. We'll see you next week.